Hello again, glad to be back with you. I got a question uh, through the YouTube channel the other day on what a decibel is, a dB. That seems like a pretty good thing to talk about. So let's do that. dB is defined this way. All right, it's 20, and this is a base 10 log, and it's a log of the ratio of two numbers, and I'll just call those x and x sub ref. That's a reference number is what that stands for. By the way, decibel, Bell came out of, uh, the, the name for that came out of Bell Laboratories, and a decibel is one-tenth of the original uh, uh, definition of the bell. Now, as far as I know, hardly anybody uses the bell. I've never seen it, I don't think ever. And decibel is what you see all the time. You see it a lot of times in electronics. You see it a lot of times almost uh, universally in acoustics. And there are some other places, but the application doesn't really matter. It's the, it's the definition that you need to know. First thing you need to know about a decibel, since X and X ref have to have the same units, a decibel is unitless. So that's, that's an important distinction to make. Okay? And the other one, obviously, is that it's a log scale. So when it's log scale, that means you can put a, or it can express a wide range of numbers on a relatively compact scale. Let's talk about acoustics first. Okay, I'm going to erase this. I may write it up again later. Let's talk about acoustics. All right. In the acoustics world, you're measuring sound pressures, and sound pressures are expressed in Pascal. More specifically, they're expressed in Pascal's RMS, because the sound pressure is sinusoidal. If you look at sound pressure, maybe this is a recording out of a microphone, and that's time, and that's Pascals. Well, the average of any sinusoidal wave is zero no matter what the amplitude is. If I, if I uh, increase the amplitude but don't change the frequency and take that same, just the mean, the mean of the original signal is zero, the mean of the uh, increased one, the, the one with the higher amplitude, is also zero. So mean doesn't help you any. It turns out RMS is where it's at. RMS is root mean square. Okay? So you square the signal, find the mean of that, and then take the square root. So that way, if you increase the amplitude, even if you're average, the, the mean is zero, the RMS still goes up. So in the acoustics world, decibel is always expressed this way. Okay, so it's going to be 20 log, and it's going to be pressure, RMS, over P ref. Okay, well the answer you get is obviously going to depend on what's P ref. By international standards, this is an ISO standard, P ref is 20 times 10 to the minus 6 pascals or 20 micropascals. We had to agree on something, we agreed on that. Now that's 20 micropascals is accepted as basically the lower limit of volume that any person could be expected to hear. If the volume is lower than that, the amplitude of the signal is less than that in the RMS scale, you can't, you can't hear it. Now, I probably couldn't hear it down there anyway, but some of you with really good hearing might just be able to detect that. All right? So, let's take some simple examples. The easiest one, what, is, what if PRMS, what if that equals one Pascal? Okay? Now that's a whole bunch more than 20 micropascals. It turns out human beings really do perceive sound basically on a log scale, so this is a very good measure to use. Okay? Well, uh, in, if this is the pressure, sound pressure, the sound pressure level, SPL, okay, this corresponds to 94 dB, it's 93.979 something, but it's basically 94 dB. Okay? Well, let's double that. What if that's two pascals? Well, if you double the uh, PRMS, you're going to add 6 dB to this. So if you double this, it turns out to be 100 even. Let's double it again. Let's go to 4 pascals. Okay, that's 106 dB and so on. So when somebody says, oh, I was at the front row of a rock concert, the Who or somebody, um, the loudest band in the history of the universe, and it was maybe uh, 112 dB in the front row, that's deafening. That's up to 8 pascals. If it was 8 pascals RMS in this room right now, I couldn't stand to be in here. That would be just way more than any person should be expected to stand. 
So that's how it works in acoustics. Now you see de decibels a lot in other form, other parts of the electronics world. Let's uh, let's do this. Another place you see it a lot is gain. Okay, gain is uh, if you go through an amplifier, gain is the the number by which the input signal gets multiplied to be to be the output signal. So it's usually expressed as A, I don't know why, but there's only 26 letters, you've got to use one of them. Somebody picked A, and that's what we use. So that might be V out over V in. Okay? If I have an amplifier with a gain of 100, it means I put a signal in. A signal, remember, is just a voltage that has information encoded in it. I put a signal in that's this big, and it comes out this big. What if the gain was 100? Okay. Well, if I want to express gain in decibels, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to call that 20 log base 10, okay, x over x ref, okay. Now, what do I use for x ref? What do I use? If nothing is specified, generally you'll see 1 used as x ref. So let's say x ref equals 1. Well, if a equals 100, okay, then we should have a, a gain of 40 decibels. I'll get my head out of your way here in a second. So let's try this again. What if it was 200? It should be 46, right? Well, I calculated this and I got 46.021. So that's 46. Okay. Well, if I doubled that again to be 400, I ought to get 52 and I got 52.041. So that works. What if I started out with a gain of 10 and I went from a gain of 10 to a gain of 100? What would happen then? Let's, uh, let's change some of these numbers here. Okay. If A equals 10, then in decibels, I'm, that's going to be 20 dB. All right. Let's say I go from 10 to 100. Okay. I multiply my gain by a factor of 10 because I'm in log scale. Now I get to add rather than multiply. Okay, what I'm going to get? I think I'm going to add 20 to that, right? Let me just double check here, and make sure I don't have a stupid attack. All right, so that's going to be 40 dB. Well, if A is 20, and I'm going to get let's see, 26 dB. Well, if I change the gain to 200, what do I get? I'm going to multiply by 10. That means adding 20 decibels. I should get 46 dB. And I calculated, uh, let's see, 46.021. Okay. So there it is. In, in the simplest possible terms, there's what a decibel is, how it's applied to acoustics, and how it's applied to gain. You'll see it expressed in, or see it used in a lot of different places, but they, it always comes back down to this. Since this is the ratio of two numbers, decibels are unitless. It's done in a log scale. Pretty handy. I hope this helps.